Yo, this your boy Billy Dale, and I'm here with my boy Angel at Warmful. Look at the life that I chose, chose. Niggas be hating, I know, no. Call me a crit with a boat. I was born and raised in Florida, Fort Lauderdale, Florida to be exact. I graduated from high school in Atlanta, played football. Uh, that's what brought me to Cali. I was going to the JUCO right here, uh, College of the Dead, COD. And um, that's how it all started. What got you inspired <laughs> to start writing? <laughs> it, I started laughing because it was funny because my brothers, they had a group called G Block. I was in seventh grade. I was living in Florida still. They was making songs, they had a video app. And I will always, you know, want to rap with them. Like, hey, man, let me do a song. Like, I can write, man. You know, I can rap. I can rap. But they would never let me. So, like, that kind of encouraged me. Like, man, you know what? Like, I'm about to start writing. And so me and my little cousin, my cousin Deshaun, uh, we started writing. We started writing our own little songs or whatever. We ain't never record them, but well, we used to record them on the computer with, like, the old plain little plastic mic. <laughs> Project I'm working on right now, which is finished. The title of it is called Route 111. It's pretty much, you know, about my struggles. I always had a hard time actually like putting, you know, my personal life together in a song. So I took the time to actually put this project together and elaborate on everything, you know, that I've been through from the time I came to Cali. Life lessons, things of that sort. That's a good ass question. Ooh, shit, that's a good ass question. Um, the hardest part for me has always been actually putting that story together because it has to be perfect. You have to paint that picture perfect for the audience to actually get where you're going. It's easy for you to drift off writing a song. I can go from talking about my childhood to talking about eating food or some shit. I know it doesn't make sense, but that's that's how it, that's how it is when you're making a song if you go off a topic. You have to really stay on top. Try your best to stay on topic and be specific with every detail. Like, it's crazy. I could say a word and change it and it sound totally different. I could take a word like I and replace it with the and then it sound completely different. As time went on, like, it really is just the lyrics. I call it Route 111 because throughout my whole time in Cali, like, I always traveled on the bus. I didn't have a car at the time. I spent all my time on the bus, and then, and as I put this project together, like, it's pretty much what this project is. It's a bus ride of me reminiscing on good and the bad of my life and the life lessons that I learned throughout. That's pretty much what this project represents. Like, it represents me, you know, friends of mine, family members of mine, people that's close to me. A person may not, may not that, don't even know me, but they're going to understand and feel where I'm coming from because everybody can relate to what I'm talking about. It's a real life struggle. It's a real life struggle every day that we face. Everybody face different problems, but in a way, we all have similar problems, even though if we don't know each other or not. Like, I have a song on there called I Know The Feeling. I came up on my own. I Know The Feeling. Talk about paying bills on there. Like, got these bills stacking up. Like, I know the feeling. Like, I know the feeling that you go through because I go through that same shit. I pay the same bills that the average person pays. I wake up every morning at 6 30 to go to work so i know the feeling like i know how you feel because i feel the same way like i always love life like i had some of the roughest times out here in cali but i made a promise to myself that no matter how hard things ever got i'm gonna always make it through like it's always gonna be better days to come and like that's my mentality through anything if you struggling a lot on your mind you feel like life beating you up i just smile because i know Hell, shit, it's already worse. It ain't got no choice but to get better now. And it all starts with you. Those are the things that got me, you know, through. And that's pretty much what this project symbolized. Life lessons. I have songs on there too that's like, you know, club bangers. And you know, something that you can work out to. Motivational. Got the club sounds. Uh, you got the radio sounds. Something that's, you know, for radio play. It's mixed emotions everywhere. Because that's really how my life was. It's just one big mix of emotion. One thing that always stuck with me the most was love. Like, I always still had love in my heart no matter how bad life got. Pretty much, yeah, Route 111 pretty much can mean anything. Your Route 111 might be filming, uh, graduating school, or getting a car. So it's like, it's almost like a goal. This is my Route 111. My music is my Route 111. That's what I love. That's my dream. That's what I love to do. Yeah. Number one, well, Shaking Bait. That's what really started 
you know, songs like Dope Boy and L.O.V. Me, that'll be on there. All White Ball Man, everybody gonna tell you. That song, it, it's weird, because once I made that song, it's just like a flip clicked in my head, and I just, I just went on a rampage just knocking songs out, like, just... I couldn't be more happier with how everything turned out and how the songs, even Weekend, it's songs that weren't even supposed to be on here that I took songs off just to put them on there because they matched the story so good. Like, now I'm done with the project. I'm already planning on what to do next. I already got music. That tells you, like, how fast my mind was just racing. That's why it took me so long to finish, honestly. But I wanted to make sure it was perfect for y'all. I want y'all to enjoy it. A lot of great music on it, man. But yeah, back to your question, which is about to ask me about Dope Boy. Dope Boy, that is one of the real stories. I had a cousin. We grew up as kids in Florida. Like, for some reason, he always wanted to be a Dope Boy. And the crazy thing about it, like, you know, his mom was a, she was a police officer. And I would think to myself, like, like why would you want to be a dope boy? Like, your mom is a cop. Like, you, you tripping. Like, she give you the life that you deserve. She provide for you. Um, she do everything she can for you. It's like, why a dope boy? And as kids, like, we never really understood that. And as he got older, like, he pretty much became a dope boy. <laughs> like, you know, selling drugs, hanging around the wrong people. Like, eventually ended up getting locked up. He got out. He is down the line, you know, he ended up having a daughter. I talk about that, you know, the like the pros and the cons of being a dope boy. That's pretty much what the song symbolizes. It's like, why you want to be a dope boy when your mom and the cops provide for you everything that you got? Want to be a dope boy. Why you want on the block fucking around and your nigga got shot? Want to be a dope boy. So it's like, I'm giving you the pros and the cons. I'm giving you the do's and the don'ts of this. Like, there's no in-between. You're going to pay a consequence whether if you want to be a dope boy or not. The consequence can be good. The consequence can be bad. It all depends on how you work it, how you take it. It's like, you know, why you want to be a dope boy? For the money, the cars, the bitches, the broad, the scheme of the frauds. Want to be a dope boy. Yeah, just like your pop said, just for everything that you got. But you want fast money, blood money, want to end up in the castle or end up in jail with the cops. Supposed to have been in high school playing ball trying to get a scholarship. You want to 16, 17, like you supposed to be on your way getting ready to graduate trying to get a scholarship somewhere. What's really a dope boy? Like to me, a dope boy is really, you know, taking care of your family, taking care of your mom, your son, your daughter, nephews, nieces, respecting your friends, your peers, everybody around you, treating them, just being humble. Like to me, that's what a, that's a dope boy taking care of your business. That's a real dope boy. Yeah, uh, Rock 111 dropping August 11th. Rock 111 on the 11th. It will be on Apple Music, iTunes, uh, Spotify, and Tidal. So if you have any of those apps, any of those streaming sites, love for you guys to go listen to it, uh, download it. Me up on Instagram. My Instagram is Billy B I L L I E underscore Dale D A L E. Hit me up. You know, let me know what you guys think about the project. So pretty much what I do on my days. Like I said, I wake up, go to work at 6. I actually work out a lot, too. Like I started back working out a lot. Shout out to my boy Fox, a.k.a. Joel. If anybody looking for training, I recommend you go to him. Eat agility, straight body control, great feet work. Train all athletes, football, basketball, track, tennis, volleyball. Shout out to my homie Shane and Carwell as well. Same thing, speed and agility. For corners, he, he, Shane the cornerback, uh, Caldwell the linebacker. Y'all want any of that info, like just hit me up on my Instagram. All the links will be down below. But one thing I can honestly say about all of my friends, like all of us is close and we push each other. Like, even though I'm a rapper, like I go out in that ground like I'm a football player. And that teach me, you know, not to be lazy in the studio. Yeah, like we actually push each other, man. We motivate each other. That's 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 what I love the most. It's like we still grinding together. Like we all got a dream. We all got all got dreams that we want to pursue and that we want to make. We all want to provide for our family for a better life. And for them, that's their Route 111. Like I said, their Route 111 is probably opening up a gym for training, track, football, training athletes. Like that's their Route 111. You know what I mean? Like I said, it could be anything. What's your Route 111? So y'all tell me what y'all Route 111 is. I'm looking forward for y'all guys to hear this new music. A lot of great music. Like, he the only one that done heard it all, so <laughs> definitely gonna be dope. It's definitely gonna be something that y'all can grind to. Something that you I got songs on there that you can rap to your girl. I got songs on there you can turn up with your crew, already hitting the club, pre-game, whatever. Oh no, I, I remember you asked me a question earlier too. Um favorite artist. Yeah. Oh man. My favorite Cole, man. J. Cole. That's my dog. I went to the For Your Eyes Only tour. Oh my gosh. Bro. Cole. Cole that guy. <laughs> My 
other favorite man, Meat Mill, dog. I love me, bro. Y'all gotta stop hating on my dog. Please, please. Can y'all just stop hating, man? Stop hating. Please stop hating. Stop hating. Stop. Stop hating. Y'all, y'all and y'all Drake shenanigans, man. Damn, y'all. Y'all don't know real life. That's how I know. That's how I know half of y'all just yes, man. Y'all just follow what Drake say, huh? But yeah, man, Meek definitely, definitely one of my favorite. I love Meek, man. Meek just speak that real life, and that's pretty much what I like to talk about. J. Cole and Meek definitely. I fuck with Logic, too. That's a cool white boy right there. Logic, that guy. Man, gang related. One of the dopest tracks I heard from him. Even his new album, man. That, that anxiety. I like what he's doing with that. Like, he's spreading a positive message to the world about anxiety. A lot of people deal with that. Man, Ace Hood, dawg. Ace Hood is so underrated. I don't understand how people don't like it. Industry don't get that man the credit like he's supposed to have, dawg. Man, Ace, he probably my number three, honestly. I like him over Logic. Him and Logic neck to neck. I ain't gonna say I like him over Logic. I really love Logic music, too, as well. Cause Logic tells some dope shit stories, too. Ace, you know, he's from the crib. Brad County. Florida, 954, Deerfield Beach. That's where Ace from. And, uh, you know, I gotta rock with the home team, so. Yeah, it'll be me. Uh, it'll be Cole, me, uh, Ace Hood, Logic. it be my five. If I was talking about the old school list, yeah. Wayne, Wayne, Kanye. Yeah, that's where they come in at. Oh, shit. I might just say Kendrick, dog, because I've been listening to I've been listening to a lot of Kendrick. Like, I love his visuals. Like, his visuals are so fucking, oh, my God. Like, and I'm not saying Logic is better than Kendrick. Or is hood better than Kendrick? I just I'm I'm going prospectively off flows. Kendrick, he could definitely be my number two over me. That'd be my five. <laughs> it's your boy Billy Dale, man. I'm here with my boy Angel in the one for room. Route 111, August 11. Any links? All the links will be down below. If you're trying to get that work in, trying to train, I will have that information down as well for you to check out. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy.